Hello people, just uh, just in this video, once again, I just uh, want to demonstrate you uh, the power, the power of noise reduction units. Um, it's a Sanyo Super D, 1979, and this one is DBX224XDS, that's 1986. And uh, I have as well, as you know, maybe... That's the 1981 unit, DBX224. They're all brilliant units, fantastic. Absolutely, you know, and just different level, different level. If you if you into the tape decks, into cassettes, that's must, absolutely must. Because, you know, Dolby C, Dolby, it's for children, really. You know, I feel sorry, I just, uh, just I have to admit, that's a thing. And those are really, really nice machines. And uh, I'm, I'm just informing those who, who don't know, maybe some people don't know yet. Uh, not for the guys who are aware about it, but it's really amazing. Uh, and there's really no noise, you know, no noise. And it's fantastic. There's no distortion, no matter what. There's no distortion, you know, people. If it, everything is perfectly set up, if everything is correct, uh, it's going to be... Pro just uh, perfect you know just i want to demonstrate you super d uh this tape is uh, just normal tape and i'll put that a bit loud so you can hear if you can hear any noise between songs okay uh, okay okay now one second
Okay. Now there's another one, another unit, uh, DBX. I just want to demonstrate to you as well. Perfection. Okay. The same. I don't don't see any difference between them. You know, they are both fantastic. They both. This is like some engineering. You know. So okay. Uh, let's listen a little bit. Okay. Volume up just to demonstrate you what there's no noise. Look, listen. He says no hiss, no hiss. Zero. Silence. Yeah, I might might do another video about how to set them up for recording, you know, because it is a bit challenging thing. So the main thing for both of them, what I like, what I noticed on the tape deck when you record, tape tape signal on tape deck should be no higher than minus five, no higher, never more than minus five, never. And as well for Super D, the same thing. Same thing goes for Super D. Minus five here, minus five here. And if you record tape with encoded uh, DBX or Super D encoded, whole tape has to be same. Whole tape. Don't allow any piece of tape to be Dolby or norm normally recorded. You know, because it can really whack your everything, whack your speakers, and if you go over it with this. Uh, with those units, they go so loud, you know, you can damage like your speakers and I don't know. So whole tape have to be encoded uh, with the same unit. Okay, and uh, I just want to say thank you to Hamid Techno Idea, the guy from in internet, from YouTube. You know, he just gave me that inspiration. So I'll give a link for him as well. So maybe better. Okay, thank you.